My granddad, he used to always say, when you cook a brisket, it's got to be low and slow. <laughs> So the first thing you look for when you're going to your butcher shop or whatever your favorite store is, you know, make sure the meat's dark red. If it's red like that, then you know it hadn't been sitting out too long. One thing about brisket is trimming off the fat. This little section right here is just fat that you don't need. You can remove that section. This fat here you can remove. The thing about brisket is they come in two sections. There's the flat end, which is the leaner side. And then below that is what they call the point, which is a lot more fat in that side of the brisket. And I don't know if you noticed behind me, there's a picture of my granddad. You know, I kind of love that picture, especially if I'm right here doing something, you can see he's just always watching over me. I guess, or maybe making sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> this is a tip for helping you know which way to cut your brisket once it comes off the pit. You always cut against the grain. So if you put a little mark right there, you'll know, because once you put that rub on there, you're not really gonna remember which way the grain is running, but that little cut right there kind of lets you know to cut that way against the grain. All right, when you're doing brisket, they say it all starts with a good rub. I like to use our Stubbs beef rub. That's sea salt and molasses in there. It even has a little bit of coffee grounds. And it puts a good flavor into your brisket. Get this side done, then we'll switch to the other side. You always want to cook the fat side up because that fat is going to render and just go through your meat, just adding flavors, bringing that rub along with it. And you always want to do a heavy rub because that's going to give you that good bark on the brisket. Everybody loves the brisket with a good thick bark. Oh, this is gonna be a good brisket. And once you get it all rubbed up, you're gonna let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. That gives the rub time to penetrate the meat, and that's gonna give you that good flavor that you want. Here at the restaurant, we use a rotisserie pit that's just always rotating, and we like to do it low and slow. So we're cooking it about 200 for 12 hours. And uh, you may be able to do that at home, or it may vary depending on what kind of pitch you got. You know, you may do it a little bit higher at home, like 220 or 240. But at home, you want to wrap it, that way your brisket's not drying out. So when you're wrapping your brisket, you can either use butcher paper, because it still lets your, your meat breathe, or a lot of people like to use foil paper that way, because it's not letting any moisture get out at all. So it just depends on your personal preference, whatever you think is best for you and your grill. Let's go pop this in the pit. All right, we're here at the pit now where we do all the cooking, bringing all that stuff, love and happiness to life. We're gonna throw this brisket on. We already got a few things cooking. Like I said, this is a rotisserie, so it's just constantly rotating. So we'll just put that on for 12 hours at 200, and then we'll be back to pick it up. Now that's Texas brisket. So it's important that you let your meat rest after you take it off the pit. You don't want to take it straight off the pit and then all of a sudden cut right into it. You need to let those juices absorb back into it and you want to let it cool off just a little bit because you don't get a good clean cut if it's too hot. If you remember earlier, I did a little slice right here to let me know which way the grain was running. If you don't cut across the grain, the meat is, is a lot tougher. Most of the time when you cook a brisket for 12 hours, the outside edges are going to be a lot more cooked than the inside edges. So that's where you get like your burnt ends, just the crispier side of the meat. So that first little piece right there is gonna be a lot more crispy than the rest of the meat. And so you're just gonna keep cutting right against the grain. You see the little redness right there? That's the smoke ring on the brisket. That's caused from moisture from the wood. So the more moisture the wood has, the more smoke ring you'll have. All right, now that's how you do brisket at Stubbs, low and slow. Now let's go eat. To me, brisket is true Texas barbecue, you know, that's, that's the main thing. If you can cook a brisket in Texas, that's accomplishment right there, you know. <laughs> Everybody wants to say they can cook the best brisket in Texas.